Hey everyone, so time to review on the Marvel Legends Weapon X from the Caliban Wave. So in the front of the package has Wolverine right there with his helmet on, also a screaming face. A nice picture of Weapon X right there. The rest of the figures in the wave. I know this has been out for a while, but yep, it's gonna slowly get through these guys. But there's a little quick little bio for you. So I'm trying to see here, I'll go over this really quick. So the only ones I have to go to review is Skullbuster, um, Forge and Weapon X and Gambit, which we're doing right now. All right, guys, we'll get this guy in the package and I'll stop my rambling. All right, so first off, we, he comes with the right leg of Calvin. We'll get his one accessory. He's got the open mouth yelling face uh, without the helmet on for when he escapes. Looks pretty cool. And then we'll get into the figure. So it's very similar, I mean, very similar to the old Toy Biz one from series... I want to say Series 7. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm trying to remember. Um, but very cool. It's got actually a good amount of detail. Um, I like these translucent hoses that kind of come through. The helmet looks good. She's got a straight face, nice little visor. There's not really any like, black wash on this, but the dark gray plastic actually gives it some depth where the shadowing on its own looks pretty cool. I do like that. And... It has his hair sticking out the bottom. He's got the leather strapping across his chest with the silver buckles. And you can see all the etching on the uh, strapping there. So it gives that leather look. I do like how the all, like I said, that this one, but like all the hoses are translucent uh, red. And kind of go wrapping around the back. He's in this little Speedo. You can see his claws busting out. And he's got his little pack on the sides here. I'm not sure, but it's all the little monitors and everything like that. It's nice. Just the same gray plastic. And it's got some different color, green, uh, orange, or red. It looks red, but the camera's probably making it look orange. And yellow to kind of give it some buttons and everything. It's all plugged in. Looks cool. He does have some hair on his arms along on his chest here. It looks really good. So there. He does have some more of that leather uh, strappings on the wrist. Well, enclosed. And coming down to the legs, just bare legs. Got some hairy side legs here. Mm -hmm. little toes but overall it's really cool and then the way you swap the head i'll go ahead and show you that real quick me i started looking down here but you just kind of unplug it right here and i'll go ahead and pull the head off hopefully i don't struggle too bad with this oh i'll just be gonna break pausing it oh come on one more shot before i man oh man all right hang on there we go. He's thirsty. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So I got the head on there. So it looks really cool without it. Um, this hose does get kind of, it wants to go up towards his face, kind of towards his mouth. But I think it looks pretty cool. I definitely will probably uh, display him with the helmet. I like I like the helmet look more. But we're going to go over the articulations. So his head looks left and right. Up, not so much. He's got a lot of hair on his back of his head, so he can't really look back, back, back up so much. He looks down. Uh, ball joints in the arms and the armpit joint, as you can see right there. Forward and back. Does have a little bit of resistance due to this hose. Uh, double jointed elbows, bicep swivel, single joint at the wrist, and wrist rotation. It also has a nice ab crunch. Crunches forward, crunches back, at a waist swivel, kicks up. Good upper thigh swivel. Mine definitely can be pushed in a little more. It's got more definitely more of a gap than the uh, right. Uh, thigh there. Double jointed knees, no boot rotation, ankles move up, they move down. He does nice ankle rockers and pickles the bottom of the feet. And his claws definitely are a lot, are really nicely straight on mine, which is great. All right, go ahead and swap the heads off and I'll show you guys how tall Wolverine is and do some cool comparison. All right, so Wolverine stands a little under six inches, so he's not quite, actually that's about right, I think. I don't remember if the other Wolverines are that height, but we'll go ahead and bring in the old Toy Biz one. So here is the Toy Biz one, so you can see the differences. Except Toy Biz one, you can take off all those hoses, so you can take off. And he also has an interchangeable head, so you can see it here. It's a little bit different, um, but yeah, all these hoses can come right off. The same thing with these pieces; they all just kind of plug in these little pegs, which is always hard when you buy them loose. He's usually missing something, but you can definitely see all the kind of more of the clamps there or hose, uh, geez, I'm way off camera, hose, uh, 
Turn a blank, blank, where all the hoses kind of bolt into them. Not bolt into them, but you know what I mean, connect them to them. But so you can see the front just kind of came off. But I'm going to give you guys a good, a better look. Definitely the Toy Biz one has a lot more uh, paint detailing, paint detail on every part. Um, even on the little computer pieces. His hands are kind of more grimy. You can see the yeah, he's got the hair on the legs. Toybiz has a lot more articulation too. It's got even got the uh, boot swivel there. And then also the, I know people don't, some people don't care, but it does have individual finger articulation or the hand clamp. It's got the hand clamp. <laughs> but you can kind of see that definitely the new Hasbro one is uh, a little bit taller. And then also one thing that's cool. Here, I'll pull. Sorry, my, I have scatterbrain tonight, so bear with me. Definitely see the difference in the head size. I mean, crazy difference, right? Yeah, that's a big difference. Also, the uh, Toy Biz Wolverine came with this really cool stand. And then these plugs here, you could hook them up into this back. So basically, you can have them practically just kind of hanging out right in front of it and then plug them up in the back and it, this thing's just got a ton of detail i know i'm pretty sure i've reviewed this i can't remember um but the date the paint detail on this thing is amazing let's go ahead and let you guys check this out in case you haven't seen it I like the grossness on the windows too i mean it looks really cool it's just kind of the back but it's a nice little stand it's got a little computer in the front very cool. I guess we can stand him up in front of it. See, he's going to look a little tall, I think. Eh, I mean, his head's a little bit above the glass. He could probably get away with it. But you can kind of see how his head's just, just barely above the glass. But, yep, there you go, guys. That's my review. That's my rambling. Hope you enjoyed those you know, comparison there. Um, there's my review of Weapon X. I think he's a pretty cool figure. I do like the Toy Biz one more. It's got a lot more detail to me. But, yeah, it's still a nice figure. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. What do you prefer, Toy Biz or Hasbro for the Weapon X? Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night, and I'll talk to you later. And follow me on Instagram.